fish on. Oh, it's a nice one. Holy cow. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. In this one, I'll be fishing in some pretty harsh conditions in an attempt to catch some bass with one of the cheapest and coolest swim baits that I found on Amazon. I just got out to the fishing spot and as you guys can tell, it's, it's raining, which I mean, it's a good thing because no one else is out here. So I can pretty much have free range over this whole fishing area, but I am excited to show you guys what exactly I'll be fishing with today. And here it is guys, it's a very cool little jointed swim bait. This one has a little bass graphic on it. I think it looks awesome and it's also very cheap. You guys ever get out to the fishing spot and realize that you forgot <laughs> your line cutter? Oh, all right, so keys work pretty good. Let's see what the action looks like. Oh my gosh, all right, I am super surprised, super surprised, SS, surprised by this thing's action. Holy smokes. It's got a really good action. I honestly was not expecting that at all. This thing looks so good in the water. What's going on with my reel? Oh shoot. You guys, there's a goose on a nest right here and I'm snagged on a tree on the end of this peninsula. I feel like this guy's gonna attack me. My goal is going to be to run to the end of the peninsula, try to unsnag the swim bait, and then run back without this goose killing me. God darn it, this ain't gonna work. This goose is gonna kill me. Oh no. That, that sucks. Um, I snagged on the end of this peninsula. To get to where that swim bait is, I have to go past a very aggressive goose that is sitting on a nest. And I just don't think I'm gonna do that because this thing is hissing at me, opening its mouth. It's, it's terrifying. I'm gonna switch things up. I'm gonna go to a different swim bait. It's, almost equally as cool looking and see if I can catch a bass using that. All right, I've got, I've got the second swim bait rigged on and it's, uh, it's a little bit different than that first one, but I think they're equally both interesting in their own rights. So I'm gonna chop this up as a win, but I lost for sure. Not really digging this peninsula, it's kinda cursing me so far. So I'm gonna move over to the, uh, to the other side. Let me tell you guys, this is shaping up to be, a, it's, been, it's been a rough evening of fishing. The good thing is that the rain stopped. Bad thing is it looks like there's more rain right around the corner, which isn't good. But also bad news, I have not caught a fish. I lost my Amazon lure within the first 15 minutes of fishing. And it's been, uh, it's been rough, so. <laughs> There we go. Not skunked. Did not get skunked. See you later, buddy. There is quite a bit of lightning. Best option right now is probably just to head out of here. Well, sometimes you catch fish and sometimes you catch one fish and lose the lure that you were, what am I doing right now? Today was, uh, it was one of those days where everything just, uh, wasn't working. Now this rain's starting to pick up and there's lightning heading this way, so I, uh, I'm gonna call it, but I'll see you guys on day two. Day one did not go very well. I lost my swim bait within the first 15 minutes and I was not able to retrieve it. So I had to order another one. Good news is it was cheap and it was on Amazon, so it has arrived today 
I'm going to attempt to catch a big bass using this cheap little swim bait. We've had a little bit of rain. Um, this, uh, this water is pretty high. I don't think that's gonna be very good for fishing, but No, 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 no. Oh, I got it. Whew. All right, fish, where you at? I've been fishing today for about 45 minutes and I'm a little concerned because I have not had a single bite, which I know it's not the bait's fault. I just don't know if these fish are feeding right now. Oh, fish on. No, he's off. Oh, he... No. He hit it right as I was about to pull it out of the water. My hook set was non-existent. Dang it. First bite of the day, and that was a nice, nice bass. Darn. Fish up. Oh, it's a nice one. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, this is a nice fish. Holy smokes. <laughs> yes. Look at the belly on that fish. What? She is short, but she is so fat. 3.65. I cannot get over the, how fat this fish is. That is crazy. See you later, buddy. I am so relieved I was finally able to catch a bass using this cheap Amazon swim bait. I knew this thing could catch fish. The action that this bait has is remarkable in the water, but fishing is still pretty tough. This water is extremely high and muddy, so I'm gonna get back to it, but that was, that was awesome. Here's what happened. I was getting some B-roll shots for the video of me casting in slow motion, and in the process, of doing that, I lost the uh, I lost the swim bait. Oh, this paddle's covered in ants. Oh, there's a big ass spider in this boat. Holy crap! Oh, God, scared the crap out of me. Oh, I hate spiders. I don't think I'm getting this back, guys. And it's gone. Covered in spiders. Oh, this went from being awesome to horrible in like five seconds. So I've lost two of these now, which I mean, they're not very expensive, but it's a shame because I was about to show you guys what it looks like in the water, but I may have a swim bait similar that could possibly have a similar action. All right, let's see what this one looks like in the water. It's also a cheap swim bait that I found on Amazon. Okay, so this one actually looks really good in the water also. It sinks a little bit faster, which I am not a huge fan of, but the action on this one is also very impressive. After that whole fiasco, I am finally back fishing and I am starting in the same spot where I caught that first fish. Let's see if I can get anything to go for this uh, really cool cheap bluegill slash sunfish swim bait. Oh, buddy, got me a tree fish. You guys are not gonna believe the size of this sucker. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, doggy. See you later, buddy. <sighs> I've been fishing with this second swim bait for almost an hour. I have had absolutely no interest shown towards it. Well, unfortunately, I am all out of time. Well, um, I was only able to catch that one bass today. 
Granted, it was a really nice one, but I thought for sure after seeing the action that these swim baits have in the water, I thought I would at least catch a few, but uh, the bass just were not cooperating. As far as the swim baits go, if you guys are interested, I'll leave the link down in the description. But if you do buy them, I would possibly recommend getting a couple because you might lose the only one you caught your fish with and, and uh, that, that would not be good. But as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you in the next one. Oh, almost snagged it in a tree.